Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of this Factorio Beginner Guide with Zuri. Greetings. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, I, uh, I got hit by a train <laughs> off screen. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Zuri manages to stand, like, right on the edge of the track and never get hit, and then I just get blatantly run over. Um, so there's that. I had to remake my power armor and everything. And, uh, yeah, we can tear down this copper smelting thing since we moved the trains um, to go over to the other one. And we massively expanded the red circuit production, as you can see, because uh, it wasn't enough. And we had to expand copper because that wasn't enough. And, uh, yeah, and our rocket is done. Good times. Uh, we might need to boop this over to bot production. Oh, this. Yeah. Well, that should be easy enough. We can just... What, what was going here? Copper? Yeah. Answer. Copper, green circuits, steel. Yeah, we can just change all these to requesters. Um... And steel is not doing too good. Um, I mean, it is full on iron. I guess it's just <laughs> you just need a ton of steel production. Yeah, I need to change that over to uh, add it to the smelter. We need a dedicated steel section. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to tear down this, while you're doing that, I'm going to tear down this whole copper smelting thing here. It's not needed, obviously, anymore. It will free up a lot of room. I can... Yeah, I'm just... I think I'll tear up all the, all the lines that are empty. So green circuits and... Pretty much everything. And then we go back later, figure out what we need to fix. Right. Yeah, so this will free up a lot of room here. We could put something here if we want to. Um, I think this episode we will launch the rocket. So, yeah, I mean, the productivity, again, helps a ton. Um, we made it pretty quick within about 45 minutes or so total. Um, and, you know, I mean, we weren't trying, like, super hard, so... Oh man, <laughs> the robots are like hoarding around all these roboports now. So let's see here. And uh, this guy is waiting on assembler threes because we aren't we are out of speed module ones to make them because we are low on copper. Um, you can see with 35k uh, copper ore in the system, we just don't have enough smelting to keep up with all the demands right now. Let's see here. So most of these are making copper. And we don't have we don't have enough productivity modules either to fill this out, which would help a lot. Um, I wonder if I wonder if we should add even more smelting. I mean, we don't have any of the modules for it. Uh, feel free to if you want. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and blueprint that. And uh, I mean, although we don't have the modules, obviously it's due to a copper shortage, so it will help to add more, even if it's just unmoduled for sure. Um, okay, so that side's already done. Let me see if I can do this correctly. Uh, okay, so we want to blueprint that. Sweet, and there's one more. And in 0 0.13, I think, aren't they adding um, 
a feature so that when you blueprint stuff, it blueprints the modules in a thing as well. Yes. Yeah, so that'll be super helpful, because right now, obviously, it doesn't we have to stick them in manually, which is kind of a pain, especially when you do a ton of them. Now, most of these are making iron. Why is that? Should be making copper. Oh, I see. It's because. I see. So we currently have about 1400 bots being used, which is pretty good. Yeah, this whole circuit thing is pretty much obsolete, isn't it? This belt one? Yep. I tore up all the downstream stuff except for the science build. We also need to... Yeah, if we're going to do any more science, we got to reduce some of the science build. Right. But we should be able to tear up this uh, circuit build, though. Yes. Okay. That'll that'll free up. That'll give us um, some more of those assemblers we're missing too, which will be good. Yeah, you're right. If we do want to redo science, we're gonna to have to request in some circuits um, and potentially other things as well. And yeah, I guess I guess I can just tear up all these lines. I don't know. Why I'm waiting on that. Okay, so let's see, tear that up, get rid of that guy. What was this? This was copper, I think. Get rid of that. Let's see if I can deconstruct this without breaking everything else. So, yeah, I mean, I suppose here, in a minute, we can just launch our rocket. Uh, rip power. <laughs> oh, dear, did it? Oh, what what happened? All right, should, I mean, our accumulator should have taken care of that, right? Uh, no, we're way overdrawing on power. Way, way, way. <laughs> oh man, come on. And I guess that's what happens when you like expand a ton of stuff and don't ever add power. Yeah, we haven't expanded the solar field in a while. And considering we just destroyed the uh, input to the solar build. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, well, this is a bit of a problem, man. Um, it's fun. It's fun times. Yeah, so, I mean, you get to see, you know, us mess up here. Uh, I mean, it will get a little better during the day when our solar panels actually kick on, but we will still be not not good. <laughs> we won't be good. Um, do we have any solar panels stocked up? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, we do have it. We have about, we got tons. Oh, yeah. We got plenty. Yeah, let's uh, try to expand this here then. Try to figure out how exactly you... Because I lost my blueprint when I got smashed by the train. Um, let's see, it looks like you had... Or I'll, I'll give you mine, hold on. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh. All right, fun fact, you can't uh, put blueprints in other people's inventory. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I kind of wondered about that. It's a little unfortunate. Yeah, I kept trying to place it, like I was building it. <laughs> Good thing you didn't, like, accidentally build it right there. That would have been bad. So uh, this kind of shows you, um, guys, that 
solar takes a massive amount of room. Uh, even with this giant, well, I mean, to Zuri it's probably not huge, but to most people, this gigantic solar field uh, is not close, to, not even close to powering our base. So, kind of gives you an idea of how much solar you need for the size of a base. Now, is your um, is your mega base run on solar, or do you use steam? I'm not a masochist. I use steam. No solar. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you kidding me? I, I I I can't imagine setting up that much steam power. Yeah, I have really huge solar fields, and like a lot of the other mega base guys, they love their. Uh, steam plants for some weird reason. Yeah, I don't understand that. I mean, like, I can't imagine the amount of fuel you would go through for that many steam engines and boilers. I think it'd be pretty ridiculous. Now, I do have steam backup in my mega bases. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, that's probably a good idea. And, uh, yeah, this, um, this here, like this massive solar field, this is why, uh, like in my building big series, I want to incorporate like roads and a railway into my solar blueprints because this is a pain walking around this whole thing. Especially through all these damn trees. Let's see. Is there a particular reason I didn't build that? Okay, there we go. So it looks like, I mean, luckily we had a lot of solar panels and stuff stocked up. That should cover us there for a little bit. And yeah, I mean, I think at this point we could probably launch the rocket here in a minute. Probably. Alright, so hopefully, I mean, hopefully this copper catches up eventually so we can actually, like, get things, get things working here again. Okay, cool. So you're converting that ore to uh, robot base. This is good. Waiting on circuits. Just pro Did you mean to request 300? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just checking. Yeah, I just took um. The default request amount from shift right clicking, shift left clicking, and multiplied by 10. Just so uh, there's always available. Okay, fair enough. And uh, I mean, these guys are running pretty much full pace aside from the copper shortage, so I mean, if, if they had a full supply of copper, then they would be able to keep up probably. Man, how, do I, how did I forget all this stuff? <laughs> Is there's like one teeny little strip of non robot coverage like where this circuit bill used to be. It's kinda of funny. Alright, um Yeah, I mean we can uh, go ahead and head up here and launch the rocket, I, I suppose if you want. Sounds like fun. Oh, and uh, immediately click on continue or whatever you need to because if you launch it on multiplayer and you don't 
if you leave the error message up or the whatever message it is, it will just continuously play that ending sound. Oh god, and I think it's pretty loud too. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very loud. Alright, um... Okay, you put the satellite in, good. Uh, do you want to have the honors and launch it? Certainly. Alright. And you're probably like, no big deal, I've launched like 10,000 of these. <laughs> Probably four or five hundred. <laughs> it's still a lot. Alright, here we go. For anyone who hasn't seen this, pretty awesome. So, uh, just look over our stats here really quick before I hit continue. Uh, let's see. Thousand small biters. Actually, not as <laughs> we killed more trees than we did biters. Almost. I like poison caps. They're good. <laughs> yeah, they are. Does this um? It doesn't count rock kills, does it? Oh, stone rock. There we go. It should be under stone rock. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> Zuri killed like 193 of them. <laughs> Yeah, dude, there's the real enemy. Yeah, must kill all the rocks. All right, awesome. So here we go. Here's the stats: uh, 35 hours, eight minutes, 23 seconds. Um, now, for anyone who doesn't know, if if you were to hit finish instead of continue, um, would you be able to like come back into the save at some point, or would it just be like closed out? Uh, you'd have to load up an autosave, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so just to clarify, if you want to continue playing after you launch a rocket, make sure you hit continue rather than finish. Um, and then you can just continue launching rockets or do whatever else. But if you hit finish, it's going to, like, kind of end your save in a way. Uh, so just make sure you don't mess up or make sure you have an autosave or something. And, uh, yeah, you can see here, lo rockets launched one. And uh, I believe, isn't there a mod um, that, like, automatically launches rockets for you? Yes, but I don't like it. I don't mind launching the rockets myself. Okay. Fair enough, each to their own. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, I can see where it'd kind of be useful if you were launching, like, a ton of them constantly. But uh, that there is something kind of special about launching them yourself anyway, so... All right. Okay, you're requesting copper, the batteries, and uh, I mean there we go, guys. We're almost at 20 minutes anyway, and you know definitely again if you didn't in the first or in the previous episode, leave us your feedback uh, in regards to if you want us to continue the series from this point on. Uh, I don't really know what I mean. We would maybe launch more rockets or get like ion cannon mod or something. I don't know. Uh, if you want us to continue or kind of just call an into it here now that we've technically finished the game. Uh, but yeah, as always. Or specific tutorials you want to cover, we can do those too. Yeah, good point. Yeah, definitely. Definitely as well. So, you know, any, uh, any comments, any suggestions, anything, leave down in the comment section. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if this does happen to be the end of the series, uh, we hope you know you enjoyed and it was helpful. And uh, we will uh, see you next time, maybe or maybe not. But as always, catch you later. Goodbye.